Now that we have account creation, aka sign up working, there's a possibility that a user could be created and now we'll need to be able to sign in and out. We also want to modify the account creation function so that after users are created, they're automatically signed in the first time on their behalf as opposed to making them create an account and then submit a sign in form. So we want to create the session creation page, AKA sign in or login page, and then make some modifications to account creation. In order to set up the session creation, the login handler, we just need to reference what we called the session creation in the router in a previous lecture. So we were saying session slash create is going to be handlers dot session create. So let's go to our handlers and below where we set up account creation, let's do session creation. I'm going to copy the account creation function since like the index, this will be very similar. So create new session and we should name it handlers dot session create. Again, it's going to reject any request that isn't a get and the head title is going to be login to your account. The description is going to say, please enter your phone number and password to access your account. And the body class is going to be session create. We're going to use get template as normal, but obviously we want the session create template rather than account create. Then we're gonna add on the universal header and footer. So nothing else really needs to change. Now we need to actually create the session create template. So I'm gonna to call touch templates slash session create dot HTML. And now we can open this and start filling it in. As in the previous lecture, there's no reason to go into the HTML in detail. So I'm just going to paste it in here. As you can see, there's an H1 and H2, log into your account and to your phone number. And then there is a form whose ID is session create and posts to API slash tokens. And in order to get this to work correctly, we need to add some logic to app.js. So I'll update this file here. And now you can see there are a few new things. Bind forms has been improved a little bit to have some error handling at the top and only try to bind forms if there actually is a form on the page. And some helper functions have been added that allow you to get the current session token and then set whether or not a user is logged in on the body as a class. We can also set the current session token or renew the current session token. And now we've created a loop that will always run once a minute that will try to renew the token so that a user's session doesn't expire. Now you can see the form response processor for the form ID account create has been modified to now automatically send a request to API slash tokens post. So in other words, log the user in after their account was successfully created. So they're automatically be logged in and taken to their dashboard. Similarly, after a successful login, a user is automatically redirected to their dashboard. We can save this, restart the app, node index.js, and then try to use this new login form. I'm going to go back to the home page and then click on login to be taken to the form. I'm going to sign in with the credentials we just created a moment ago. So 415, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. This is a password as the password and login. Now, it might look like an error, but this is just because we were taken to a page that doesn't exist yet. We're actually on the check slash all page, which is the URL of the dashboard. And if we go back here, we can see that there is a session token newly created, which is right here. And this was created when we submitted that form. So the session exists, it's getting stored client side, 
and everything seems to be working fine. The next thing we need to do is give the user the possibility to log out and actually destroy this session. So this is what we'll do in the next lecture so we can move on to there now.